everybody. Big Dave here with Family Dream Homes of Bowling Green. Today we're going to be taking a look at a champion home built out of Dresden, Tennessee. It's a 28 by 60, three bedroom, two bath. It comes around about 1,600, 1600 square feet or so. It's on a lot special right now. It's an amazing savings, amazing deal. So you're not going to want to miss this tour. So stick around. Big Dave here with Family Dream Homes of Bowling Green. Today I'm going to take you on an exciting tour of a champion home built out of Dresden, Tennessee. This is the Florence. It's a 28 by 60, about 1,600 square feet. Beautiful home. As you can see, the front of this home gives you a little bit of character, uh, breaks up the, the kind of the, the flat look on the front of it, gives you that nice dorm with a little eyebrow out there. Um, they got these nice white lineals around the windows with a grid pattern in them. Very beautiful. Another thing I wanted to point out while I was up here, real quick, is right here. That is behind your vinyl siding on this home. You have OSB wrap, which is very, very good for insulation, very good for sound barrier, safety, wind, all that good stuff. So stick with me. We're going to do a little tour across the front here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe this page to your friends and family, and hit that little notification button to follow for new content. Would really appreciate that very much. Again, with these nice windows across the front here, you got the nice two-tone board and bat siding on here. As you can see as it goes across, they're really, really, really nice. So, come on down here to the end. We'll work our way around here. This is looking into your kitchen right here. As you can see, very nice. We'll go in there in just a second. I promise, I promise. I won't keep you in suspense too long. This is coming into your utility area. Very nice. We'll go around to the side here. We'll go around back. All right, here we are around the back. As you can see, this house is set up pretty high right now, just as a display model. Uh, just to let you know, all of our homes here from the Family Dream Home uh, Bowling Green office will come with a permanent foundation on them. Um, all of our double section homes. So it gives you a nice, nice look on the back of the house here. And you have these big windows coming off the living room. See how nice and large those are. It's coming down here, and those are windows right there come off the master in the back. If you can see them, if I can get this camera to work right. There you go. All right, we're coming around the side here, go back around the front. All right, here we are back at the front. Let's go inside and let me show you what it's all about. You guys take a look at this beautiful home kind of pan around here for you nice living room with tray ceilings as you can see it up there with the beautiful can lights coming down but we'll get to that in just a minute we're gonna come around here and start over here in the dining area for this home and kind of take a look and see if you can see these window sills right here this home has two by six walls on it two by six walls all the wall studs 16 on center the OSB wraparound, very, very secure, very safe, very, very energy efficient with an R19 installation in there. All right, I'm gonna come around here. You got a nice area for your dining table. Put a very good size table right here, depending on what, what kind of design you want. You can go either like the table sitting right now, or you can come back towards this way. You have all kinds of space by the door here. Lots of good space. So we'll come into the kitchen here, everybody's favorite part of the house. And this very, very nice, large island. It gives you all kinds of space. If you're making rolled out dough, just having serving food for family, having big get togethers, it gives you a lot of space. So check out these cabinets right here. Very nice, got kind of a walnut kind of coloration to them. Go all the way up to the ceiling with the crown bowls. Lots of storage. Lots of places for knickknacks and goodies. 
here we are again with that Euro hood. Like I said, everything, it's, it's, it's the rave right now. So everybody wants this thing. So I'm paying down here. This is a mosaic style glass backsplash back here. Very beautiful. Champion has some of the most beautiful backsplashes that I've seen. These nice countertops with a rolled waterfall edge on them. Makes cleaning very, very easy. Got a nice backsplash back there. Got a corner cabinet right here, as you can see. Same thing, goes all the way up. Got the nice crown bones at the top up there. To really kind of give you some, look at the depth of that. It's how far back it goes. You can reach my arm all the way back here and I still can't touch the back of it. So, a lot, a lot of space, a lot of good cabinet storage. And this is that window that I showed you out front a while ago, right by the kitchen sink. Check out this sink. Comes with all these nifty attachments right here. You got like your draining racks, you got a vegetable washing tray, all those come out. It also, I believe it comes with a cutting board uh, for cutting vegetables on, all kinds of great stuff with that. Of course, the, the dishwasher. In my house, I am the dishwasher, but you know, it's nice to have one. <laughs> you see there's a little microwave area right there for your microwave. Cabinet storage over top of the sink, or the, not the sink, the refrigerator rather, sorry. And check out the back side of this island right here. See all these drawers and cabinets? You got all these nice drawer storage right here. Plenty of space for spoons and everybody has a junk drawer. Everybody needs a junk drawer in the kitchen. So, you know, you'll have plenty of that. <laughs> and you also on these bases over here, you have cabinets over here by the stove with the drawers over top of them as well for cooking utensils. Back over here as well. So it gives you a lot of nice, useful space. So, all right, as we come out of the kitchen area, if I can get the camera to work with me here, and there's the guest bath, but we'll go there in just a second. We're gonna come down this little hall right here. Now, it's got an indoor on it, so that's a really, really handy feature to have. If you guys have decided to, that you wanna build a garage or an attachment to the house, that will give you that opportunity where you can just tie right in very, very easily and kind of exit the home, come in right here in this little hallway. And then you have this utility room right here off by that door. So nice space in here. Here's your washer and dryer hookups. Got the whole house shut off valve right here. This is a very, very big thing. Um, I love that manufacturing homes have these in these, most of them. <laughs> it's really, really nice. You're at home, you have a bad water leak. You don't have to go out in the front yard and, you know, in your underwear, in your bathrobe, trying to, you know, turn off the water at the main. So that gives you a very, very quick, handy option to kind of kill that water. That way you don't have a big mess. So panning around over here, you got your breaker box. Behind that panel right there to your left, you have your water heater right there. Six screws, takes that off, and boom, you're, at, you're accessing it right there. This has got a nice, good space for a freezer right here. If y'all can see that. I know it's hard to tell from where you from where y'all are probably looking but for me i'm a pretty you know pretty big guy so i can stand here stretch my arms out and i'm barely touching the sides of it so it's got a really good space for a very large chest freezer or upright freezer if that's something that you're interested in so all right I'll come over here in the same little hallway here you have this furnace area right here little door now that's an insulated door so you can tell it's very heavy it's got this sheetrock on it right here this piece of sheetrock paneling that insulates the noise insulates the the heat coming off of that for you so it's really really nice feature it helps keep it down where it doesn't drive everybody crazy with the humming of the the system so pan back around here off of that hallway where we just come from you have one of your first guest bedrooms right here and y'all forgive me, on the last video I did, I was supposed to post the size of the bedrooms on there. So I will be posting those on this video right here. I do apologize for that, but I'm still still learning this a little bit, still kind of playing with it. Nice size walk-in closet right here with coat racks in it, you know, like wire hanging racks. Got your vinyl flooring in there, so you don't have to worry about muddy shoes getting there and ruining your carpet. Coming into the guest bathroom here. Oh, there I am in the mirror. That's a lovely image <laughs> but nice porcelain sinks I like this style the square style really gives it a nice kind of modern touch to it and this black hardware look at that it's a flat black faucet looks beautiful 
course, do not use the toilets, but it is a very nice toilet, very comfortable. You got a lot of space in here, got a lot of elbow room, so you're not going to be cramped. Coming right over here, you have this one piece fiberglass tub shower combo right here. It's good size. The nice big rain shower head on it right there for you. Can light over top of it with crown molding. So, very, very nice. The other thing I like to point out that a lot of people don't that I've seen these videos exhaust fans. You can see how this got overhead air. Then you have your exhaust fan right there. That is a very, very handy thing when you've got a lot of steam in the bathroom. Um, steam will cause moisture problems and all that good stuff, and it'll cause mold over time with any house. So that's a really nice thing to have. As you can see, all the bedrooms are equipped with these can lights up in the ceiling. Those are like 30 year LEDs. Uh, really, really good bulbs. They'll last you for a while. Get your four inch crowns all the way around the, lit, the whole bedroom right here. Pan back down to get my camera to cooperate with me here. <laughs> you can see the grids in the windows give them a nice look to it. Like I said, I will post the dimensions of these bedrooms. I did forget last time. One thing I do want to show you though, something cool that, that really Champion has really done well that I really like is these doors. Check this door out. Isn't that cool? It's kind of that old craftsman style, like the old time uh, stagecoach kind of ranch house look to it. Farmhouse, you know, whatever you want to call it. But very, very beautiful. They have that flat, that flat black hardware on them as well. Looks very, very nice. All right. Coming out of that guest bedroom number two, coming back out into the kitchen area right here, and back over here to the living room. So, I don't know, you can't really tell, but this living room is very, very large. It has a good size to it, good space, and you can put a nice sectional in here. I'm gonna try to pan around where you guys can get a look at it. You see that built-in right there, they have a built-in entertainment center. Um, that can be replaced, you can option that out. Um, if you decide to order the house, but this one's on a lot special right now. It's on a huge savings. Uh, you, you definitely want to get down here and take a look at it before it's gone. Because once it's gone, you got to order, you know, who knows what the cost of everything right now, what's going to happen, if it's going to be more or less, however. So definitely want to come check it out pretty soon. All right, we're going to go back in here. This is coming into the master bedroom. Da -da 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 -da. All right, again, we got overhead air, can lights in here to give it a nice dimmer line. This has got a ceiling fan in here. Very nice. Look at those double windows. Lets a lot of natural light in this room. Two by six walls, I tell you, man, they get those window seals. It gives you, you know, we can put like flowers and planters and stuff in the windows, decorate it. Just looks, it looks so much better aesthetically. All right, coming into the master closet. This thing is really good size. Got your wood shelving right there with your clothes rod on it, so it makes it really easy to hang stuff on. Pan around here for you. Check that out. Lots of space. All right, now it even comes with a mirror. Can you believe this? A changing mirror in the closet, so you can get dressed, see what you look like from floor to ceiling. Very nice, very nice. All right, now, I know the moment y'all all been waiting for, the master bath. So, we're going to go in here real quick and let you take a look, see what you think about it. All right, we've got the double vanity right here with those same square sinks. I love those sinks and that hardware. Got a nice drawer storage down here in cabinetry. As you can see, got all kinds of space down here in storage. Got four drawers right there. But here's the cool thing. You come back here to the left. You got this nice stack of, pa of cabinets right here. Got the nice crown molding tops on them. It trims them out. It looks very, very good. Lots of storage for towels, wash rags, all that good stuff. Shampoos, whatever you want to hide in here. You got plenty of room for it. So, all right, we'll pan around here back to the door. Closing the door to the bathroom. Check out this big shower. that very nice I believe this is called a Duma wall shower open this door up right here now we'll see if I can get in here and show you this but the camera is not wanting to work with me here so I'm still working with this but you can't see me but this right here is a beautiful very large rain shower head right there and get up underneath it 
You can stand right here up underneath this thing and get all kinds of nice, refreshing water. Plenty of room to move around in here. I'm, you know, about, about 6'2", about 330 pounds. So I've got plenty of room in here where I'm not hitting my elbows or banging into anything. So I think most folks will be able to get in this shower very comfortably. And then the nice soaker tub right here. Any of you folks that like to take nice soaking baths, this is right here is a good size deep tub for you. Check that out. Don't want to miss that. That is good. Of course, you have your nice, nice windows up there. Look at that chair we're running around the back. It kind of really pops on that back wall. And right here is your toiletry area. Very important, must have that. Again, have your exhaust vent up here. Very important. Got your overhead air duct and heat duct right there. Can lighting up over the tub and the shower. So you got nice lighting here. And you've got two over your over your sinks up here. So you don't have to worry about them old bulbs and stuff sticking out over the mirrors and stuff and dusting them things. Seems like they're a pain. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna come out of the master. Go back into our master bath rather, go back into the master. We'll be coming back into the living room right here. So Guys, thank you again so much for, for the, sticking around for this tour with me. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell for any new content that I post. That way it'll let you know where it's coming from. And remember, come out here and see Big Dave at Family Dream Homes in Bowling Green. Hey everyone, Big Dave here. Just wanted to say thank you so much for sticking around and taking this tour with me today. Um, if you'd like more information on this home, be sure to leave me a comment. You can also like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for any future content I'm going to post. Um, I'll be leaving some links down in the description for you. Um, and I'm located at the Family Dream Home Bowling Green office. Um, it's the only place you're going to find me at. So uh, if you want to come out and see me, shake my hand, I'd love to meet you guys um, and answer any kind of questions you have. We're located at 4420 Russellville Road, Bowling Green, Kentucky, 42101. Um, I'll be posting that at the end of the video. Uh, that way you'll have it. That way you can look at it and have a good visual aid to reference. So, um, But guys, I look forward to talking to you soon. I look forward to meeting you. And we'll be seeing you soon. God bless.